What's up everyone, Takedown here. Welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be unboxing a Geek Fuel box. Now this one here I didn't purchase. There's actually a funny story. I might save it to the end of this video to explain how I got this and why Geek Fuel or why I think Geek Fuel sent me this box. But for now I'm just going to unbox it first because I think that is what everybody wants to see the most of. And if you stay till the end of the video, I will share the story or try to remember to share the story as to why Geek Fuel sent me this box in the first place. Now, I did do a Geek Fuel back when I first rebranded my channel, whenever I started to make more videos like this instead of just gaming contents. And I think that was like 2017, 2018. I can't quite remember, but it's been a while since I've done one of these. As you guys know, I don't normally do Geek Fuel. Uh, or any subscription boxes anymore. I don't do that. I was looking into it about three, four months ago and seeing what I could get. Now that I'm laid off due, due to COVID-19, I am not going to be doing any more subscription boxes after this one. So I'm going to open it up here. I just received it. So I'm assuming this is May's subscription box. It might show me inside, but let's just open it up and see what we get. Okay, like always, they always send this. This is basically, it does say, on, honestly, on it, it contains spoilers. This just lists and shares everything that you receive in this card form. So I'm not even going to bother to look at that. Next, the first item is an X-Files Pin Pals. I'm not really familiar with X-Files, but it does explain on the back. And for this one, there's actually two rare ones. There is the ultra rare uh, out of 100, and then there's the rare out of 500, which is the alien. That would have been a nice one to get. But the one that I got is Dana Scully. Like I said, I'm not familiar with the X-Files. So I do have one of these. Actually, I think it was a dual pack. It was a two pack um, in one package. But I believe I have them for Planets of the Eight from the last time I received this that I still have on my shelf. So I'm likely going to put this with it. Next, we have a thank you card. I don't know why that was under the first item, but a thank you card from Geek Fuel with everybody that works there's name on it, I believe. The whole Geek Fuel team in the colored ink on the bottom. That's pretty cool, even though I didn't purchase this. Next, we have a sticker. A Geek Fuel sticker. However, it resembles Futurama's logo, but instead of the ship... And I can't remember if, what, what it says for the Futurama logo, but it's just the Geek Fuel tank in the middle of it. So that's cool. I would have rather the Futurama logo instead of a Geek Fuel variant, but can't really complain on that. Next is a Slurm sticker. Oh, it's actually a decal. Okay, so it's not just a sticker. You can actually go and put this on a can yourself and turn it into Futurama's Slurm, which I don't think I'm going to do just because I don't want to have an actual can up on display that's unopened. Um, and honestly, I think a Pepsi can would probably be the best just to have it all blue, but I'm not even going to bother to attempt that. I'm just going to keep it for the sticker. So that's pretty cool, that one. Next, we have two of these in here, two separate boxes. So... I'm going to open up the first one here. It says, uh, Lord of the Pins. Okay, Lord of the Rings. But it says Lord of the Pins. That's pretty cool. Let's see what pin this is. See, I'm not really keen on Geek Fuel doing these. These are one of the Geek Fuel's pins. These aren't pin pals. These are Geek Fuel pins. But it's literally each character is in the design of the Geek Fuel tank, which I'm not keen on. I don't really care about Geek Fuel's logo, Geek Fuel's character. So turning a character into the Geek Fuel tank is not of interest to me. Again, there is uh, rare ones. The rare one is at 500, but I never, ever get any of those from anything. So not too bad. There is another one here, though. running out of space so the second one and again it is not the rare one the one I received this time is the top one the other one was this one here 
I'm not even going to try to pronounce the names, mainly because I'm not into Lord of the Rings, and I don't want to offend anybody, but again, I like getting pins, don't get me wrong, just I would have rathered the character, even though I'm not into Lord of the Rings, I would have been more interested in it if it wasn't a tank variant from the Geek Fuel character. That's all, that's my only gripe about it. Next is a t-shirt, which is why I love Geek Fuel and Loot Crate, because they send usually very high quality t-shirts, and I still have and wear them. They're great quality. So this one here is gray. Normally out of any subscription box that I have seen, typically it's always black with a logo. So it's a black shirt. Having a gray one, that to me is high hopes. So we're going to unravel it here. Now last time I believe it came in a box. I'm kind of shocked it didn't. But that's not too bad. Honestly, it is a Futurama one. I love New New York. I got the reference right away. Some people who are not familiar with Futurama might not understand it. So wearing this out in public, uh, some people might might not understand it. It also has the, uh, since New New York started, $29.99. So that's pretty cool. It has the uh, year on it. We get a close up here. And it also has the uh, Futurama ship in the middle. So in the middle of the heart. So that's pretty cool. I do like this shirt. I'm likely going to wear it. It looks like it's going to be a comfy one. It is really soft. Just make sure they sent my size. They did. I always order a 2X just because sometimes these subscription boxes, normally I'm a 1X, sometimes a 2X. The subscription boxes, I find I'm always a 2X just because some of them, because of the printed logo or the printed design on it, they're a little bit snug. So I always, always order one size up. Uh, oh, I like what's in here. Next, I'm going to save the best for last. The next thing is something that I honestly don't really care about so that's in this box, but that is a Rick and Morty squishy ball. Um, kind of like a stress reliever. Now, there is a bunch that you could get. Um, I'm not familiar with the characters, so I don't know who this is. I've never watched Rick and Morty. It's something that some of my co-workers and some friends have recommended me to do. I just have not done it yet because I have so many things. I'm trying to catch up on Netflix. I have so many things gaming-wise. I don't want to start a new series right now. But, I mean, it looks cool. It's probably the best character to get um, the squishy ball out of because he's literally round in the picture here. But some of the other ones would have been cool too. But will I use it? Possibly not. Next up, I don't know which one I want to do next, so I'm just going to grab the first one here, the smaller one. It is a Funko Pop for The Walking Dead, Judith Grimes. Now, I'm really excited. I've really, have always been into Walking Dead. I've mentioned this on the channel before. Absolutely love The Walking Dead. However, I haven't been into it like I was. This Season 10 is the current season out. I'm waiting till it hits Netflix before I watch it. I'll binge the whole season. So I haven't been up to date with any of The Walking Dead recently. But I'm caught up up till the end of season 9 at least. So that's awesome. So I've always been wanting Funko Pops. You guys know this. I've mentioned this before. I only have one, which is a hockey player, Connor McDavid. And this is my second Funko Pop. So at least it's something of interest to me. The Walking Dead, I love the show. Judith Grimes is definitely a character that I can't wait to see what she does in season 10. So I'm really excited. This is awesome. I really wanted to subscribe to uh, the Funko Pop monthly subscription. Well, they'll send one to five of these a month. However, of course, like I said, I can't uh, afford the subscription boxes right now. I can't afford getting these, but I want to in the future for sure. That to me looks amazing. Now, since I don't have too many of them and they're not taking up much of my room, I'm definitely going to be keeping this in the box. If I were to get and expand more and get more Funko Pop, I would likely have to get a different display case and take them out of the box, which a lot of people are against. But for me, it would save room, so I'd probably get one of those IKEA glass shelves just so they always stay fresh and not have dust or really anything in them. And yes, you guys just seen that because I just took it out of the box while I'm explaining the last thing. But this is the last item and I'm really excited for it because it's something that it looks awesome. I'm just going to show it here. It is a Q-Fig of Batman. Look at that. That looks awesome. I'm, I'm really impressed. The 
detail work looks like it's really cool honestly um my only gripe about it is the fact that the character is way smaller than the box so this unfortunately i might have to take out i actually think i have a cool spot for this on one end of my huge uh, shelf i have the old captain america die cast shield it's kind of small just like this so on one corner i could have that and the other corner i could have this Honestly, on the shelf, I think that'd look awesome as my top shelf, but um, if this box was a little bit smaller to him, maybe the size of a Funko Pop, I would probably keep him in the box just to keep it, you know, authentic, and that's the right way to do it if you're collecting, but because it's such a large box, I don't know if I'm going to have room for this on my shelf, so I might, unfortunately, have to take him out, but... You guys can't really tell because it's in double packaging. You have the outside here and you also have the packaging inside. So you guys might not be able to get a detailed shot of it. But the detail work looks amazing on this. I'm really excited. As you guys know, I am a fan of Batman. I'm more into Marvel, but I love Batman when it comes to DC. Also the Flash, but can't always win. So this is awesome. I do like these. So my favorite things out of this box, as you can tell from me sharing them, is clearly the Funko Pop, the Q-Fig, and the T-Shirt. Everything else, in my opinion, is not of real interest to me. The Pin Pal, I'm not into X-Files, not really into Lord of the Rings, and they have the Geek Fuel tank on them, so they're not really of interest to me. I do like the Slurb sticker, but the Futurama sticker with the Geek Fuel tank I don't really care about unfortunately but now for the story as to why I got this geek fuel box I did remember to share this so I'm, I'm happy I was gonna end the video just now but the reason I got this box is three months ago prior to me getting laid off due to COVID-19 I was actually looking into subscribing to a subscription box geek fuel loot crate whatever and I was looking at the prices at the time. I didn't want to purchase anything. I just wanted to look at the prices. So I logged onto my Geek Fuel accounts and I seen the prices and I wasn't really sure if I wanted them at the time. So I just logged out. Somehow, whenever I was looking at them, they must have added it to my cart. And I found out a week later that they purchased it. A purchase went through of 110 odd dollars. And I was kind of shocked. So I ended up logging back into my Geek Fuel accounts, and sure enough, there's a new purchase there because I did purchase from them before, 2017 or 18. So that purchase is there, but there's also a new one from a week ago, but it says inactive, says it was not confirmed, no purchase, and that nothing's getting shipped to me. However, they charged me. So I ended up emailing the, um, the Geek Fuel team, which is usually a 24 hour response, but I was basically asking them for an explanation, sorry, I'm stuttering, explanation and also a refund for my credit card because a purchase that I did not want went through. No response. A couple days later, I asked them again, no response. So I contacted my credit card company. They said within 90 days, so three months, they're gonna investigate, look into it. But since I have proof that they are not responding to my emails, I'm likely going to get the money back one way or another. Nothing to worry about. That's what my credit card company told me. So never thought about it. A month goes by, nothing happened. Two months go by since I got charged. And Geek Fuel responds to one of my previous emails that I sent to them. And they say, sorry for any inconvenience, a whole bunch of other stuff. And then say, we are refunding your account now, your, your credit card. It'll be there within five days. Sure enough, five days later, I get the money back on my accounts. They did refund me. So I saw, thought nothing more of it until recently, a month after that, just this week, I went to the mail and there is a Geek Fuel box there for me. And I couldn't piece it together. And actually, this Geek Fuel box is not even the one that they apparently state on the website that I ordered. Apparently, I ordered a Geek Fuel EX box, which is their large Geek Fuel box. It's a quarterly box instead of a monthly box, but what they sent me was a monthly box. So, I don't really know why they shipped this to me after they already refunded me the money. A month later, they went and shipped it anyways. So, I thought that was very odd. So, for this Geek Fuel box, I did not purchase it, which is hilarious to me. But some of the stuff I got out of it, I'm glad I did not purchase it. I only got a Q-Fig from Batman, a 
pop figure for The Walking Dead, which I could have lived without, but I'm really happy I have it, and a Futurama t-shirt. Other than that, everything out of this box was not worth it. So this box here would have been only $45, I believe. That includes shipping to Canada. To me, the value in it, for me, is not worth it. But they actually charged me 110 so I'm glad that I got my refund because it's something I didn't even want. But after receiving it, I'll take it. It was free. So I just wanted to mention that story as to why I got this Geek Fuel box and also unbox it for you guys. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Comment down below if you guys have had anything with other subscription box companies, Geek Fuel, you Loot Crates, whatever else. Has something like this happened with you in the past? Let me know. But I'm going to leave this video here. Please take care. Peace.